video welcome to ka box let's test if you have not already subscribed to this channel kindly do so and if you like the video give them the thumbs up all right so in this video we are going to talk about arrays let's understand what is the requirement of arrays first so we have learned about variables so if you need to store a single value we go for arrays let's say we have to store a name of an employee all right and we say Mondo. let's say this is the name of the employee all right how are there other attributes associated with an employee so if you want to store other attributes you have to go for object okay and we say employee one is equal to and we create the object all right and we say let's say name is equal to and we store the value using key value pair already talked about that and the other property that we want to say with let's say department and let's say it is it okay so that's how we store object now in an a company there are many employees right so there is a list of employees that you want to save then you have to go for arrays all right whenever there is a list whenever there is a collection you have to work on then you have to go for arrays arrays can store multiple values in a single variable so we can say where employees is equal to all right and this is the syntax that you have to use two square brackets all right and inside that you can store as many objects as you want okay so this is how we create array so in array let's say this particular example where fruits is equal to this is an array which is storing apple orange and banana all right so the other syntax that you can use is where fruits is equal to new array and then you provide these values okay and if you look at the third example so in this it is specified here that array can store any data type primitive non-primitive all right so you could see that apple represents string one, two, three represents number, two represents boolean, and then you have undefined and null. These are all primitive data types. And then if you if I scroll to the right, this is the object. All right. And you can also store another array inside an array. All right. So there is no limitation on what you can store. Also, there is no limitation on how much you can store into this. So the length of array is not fixed. So now what is the length? right so if i go for employees spelling mistake employees so you could see that is a property associated with every array out of the box which is called as length so length describes how many items are being stored in this array so the values are called as items and there is a terminology called as indexes so in programming indexes start with zero so the first element in this particular example is the item value is 10 and it is stored at index 0 item value 20 is stored at index 1 and so on okay so now let's create some arrays and we can say car is equal to and let's say we say fiat and pmw so what we are doing is we are storing car strings name of the cars inside this array and we can access it by the variable name or symbol name car all right and at index 0 the value fit is stored and index 1 the value bmw is stored and the length of this is 2 right so array represents lists collections all right and arrays are also an object so if you could watch this closely these are stored in the form of key and value all right and we can also we have learned that we can also add new keys to an object okay so how can we add new string to this object so we can say car dot price let's say and we can say equal to 
3000 okay so now if you look out for this object you see that one more property is added okay now how to retrieve value from this array by using computed member access operator okay so you say car zero it will return you the value stored at index zero if you say car one the bmw value is returned okay and how can you retrieve the the additional properties that we have added to this object we say car dot price right so you see a difference here we are using the member access operator but here we are using computed member access operator let's see why we call that as computed member access so if i can say zero plus one so this value inside these square brackets is an expression the expression has to be evaluated first and then the value would be returned so zero plus one would be equal to one so car one would be returned and it holds the value pmw okay so arrays are object they represent list you can store any values based on the indexes all right and the length is also not fixed however there is one more thing that we have to check here so if i just use this here okay and i say fruits i get this value back right and let me change the name let me also do this use this syntax fruits and one two three and if i hit enter and say fruits one two three i get the same value back however is a catch here and let's watch this closely so we say where number is equal to and if i store new array and i say five okay so what we expect is that at index zero value five would be stored but it doesn't work this way with numbers so if i do numbers now you see that five elements are added and the, the length is five but all are empty okay so be very careful when you use this syntax and go for numbers all right so this is about aries in javascript hope you liked it see you in the next video